Hi dear friends and subscribers of uh, Cricket Happenings. Uh, well, it gives me great pleasure to tell you that, you know, you dear friends and subscribers, uh, as you know, you are the wheels of my business and uh, the, the overwhelming response that they have re I've received uh, as far as uh, people subscribing to this cricket show is concerned, according to me, is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I think the credit would be going to the, uh, I think it is the cricketreddit.com. Uh, there are a lot of people coming from there and suggesting, and I know my YouTube uh, profile has been linked to that uh, cricketreddit.com and that has really, really enabled this influx of subscribers where I've shot to 366 subscribers now on Cricket Happenings and it's a really, really proud feeling, let me tell you that, real proud feeling that uh, I have really, really catapulted to 366 subscribers, thanks to you. And I'm also happy that you're all loving the show. Well, I do see there are a lot of uh, suggestions coming in, a lot of comments coming in, a lot of appreciation coming in. Thank you very much for that. But unfortunately, uh, as I said, uh, there are so many mails that I'm receiving. I'm finding it very uh, less time to really respond to it. But uh, let me tell you, uh, as far as the cricket happening show is concerned, Ram will make a promise and he really, really keeps it. And that is what is me, Ram, the host of Cricket Happening Show. Well, uh, what I would like to do uh, is as and when I find time, I will definitely respond to each and every email that is sent to me. So please be patient, uh, dear fans and subscribers. Your host, Ram, will be there to reply uh, to all your uh, comments that you're making because I have to, uh, you know, I have to juggle, uh, you know, my house chores, my office chores, and then this Cricket Happening Show. Uh, so, uh, well, so, uh, so let me just begin the Cricket Happening Show today. And I'm absolutely overwhelmed. I'm very, very pleased to know uh, that so many people are subscribing to this cricket show. And not only that, they are all loving this show. They really enjoy it. What else? I mean, uh, what else can I really, really, really give? I mean, if I'm able to give pleasure to the people uh, who are watching me on this cricket happening show, well, I have nothing else to say. Just thank you. Let's start off. So let's the Asia Cup today kicked off between the first match between uh, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. As you know, defending champions Pakistan today uh, were lost the match. What a, what a match we had here. Uh, what a beginning to the Asia Cup. This was played at the Shahib Osman Ali Stadium, Fatullah in Bangladesh. And uh, as far as the curtain raiser was concerned, um, uh, the match was, uh, it was uh, like a real seesaw battle when Pakistan were actually uh, chasing a total of 296 for 6 set by Sri Lanka with uh, Lairo Terimane, the opener, uh, playing some excellent strokes uh, to uh, make his uh, second one day international century. And uh, Pakistan, well, they got a real revival in the sense uh, they, they stuttered, uh, then they slowly prospered uh, through a very, very good, very, very punishing, um, uh, punishing batting coming in, especially from Umar Akmal, who showed all his talent in uh, full color here, uh, banging 74 of 72 balls with seven fours and three sixes. And Ms. Bowl had the captain, Kulasa Kakumbar, 73 of 84 balls with four fours and two sixes. But in the end, as I said, it was a real seesaw battle uh, which was happening between Pakistan and Sri Lanka. But Lasit Malinga, uh, the man of the match, really, really stole the, stole the honors from everyone here uh, with his five wicket bag. And we all know what a champion baller he is. He delivered at the right time. And that is what had Pakistan being all out for 284. So the defending champions, Pakistan, all out for 284, losing to Sri Lanka. The first one day uh, match between them, which was played, I said, this was the curtain raiser. This was the first match in the Asia Cup. And the victors were Sri Lanka, and they won by 12 runs. But we had a great game of cricket, I would say. So let's uh, start off and see what really happened here uh, at the Fatullah ground. Well, uh, the, the, the match kicked off with um, actually Sri Lanka actually winning the toss uh, and electing to uh, electing to bat first. And uh, there was a ODI debut today for uh, Chaturanga De Silva, uh, who bowled well, I thought. And it all started with uh, Kushal Pereira being the uh, first victim. After 28 runs were added, uh, Kushal Pereira was the first to go as Umar Gul uh, had him caught behind. So after that, uh, the, score read, uh, the score read 28 for 1 uh, at that time. It was the 8th over. Uh, after that was Tirumani and Sangakara at the crease. Tirumani and Sangakara uh, slowly, not only did they, uh, you know, um, uh, I would say, really recovered from the early reverse that they had, uh, but really definitely uh, set upon, uh, uh, you know, set upon uh, a sort of a goal for themselves and they all started in uh, right earnest and the partnership started blossoming with uh, Sangakara playing some beautiful strokes, uh, strokes in his, as you know, he's a very, very classy player. Uh, he uses his wrist well, he hits it over mid-wicket, his cover driving is superb and Sangakara was really, really playing uh, in a majestic way and Tirimane 
uh, also uh, not far behind uh, even though he was a bit slow i would say but uh, well uh, someone had to really really uh, take the stroke uh, hit the strokes uh, and uh, tirumane was a very able partner uh, took his time his cover driving was excellent from tirumane and he also uh, played some very good shots on the leg side too and also defended pretty well and both of them put together a very very big partnership uh, which uh, which actually uh, took the score on to 189 so if you look at it uh, it was a very very good partnership 161 runs added between kumar sangakra and lai ruthramane uh, which took the score to 189 so 189 that's the time sangakra fell when he was caught by mh azad of stunner in fact kumar sangakra had played a really good stroke on the on side and kumar sangakra was well held by it was a real stunning stunner stunner of a catch uh, taken by mh azad who was the best fielder today according to me the way he fielded he took uh, uh, two catches he effected a run out uh, after that uh, well lairu tiramane uh, was the next to go uh, he made as i said he made his uh, second one day international century and what a start you know the first day first match itself in asia cup uh, we have a century and lairu tiramane played very well to make 102 of 110 balls with 11 fours and 1 six uh, and then mile jayavardhane got a real skidder from shahid afridi uh, where jayavardhane uh, definitely didn't read it pretty well and it went on to the stumps because the pitch was uh, definitely good to bat on uh, but uh, what was uh, more important uh, was to stay at the crease and not only that uh, we definitely saw some ball skipping low the odd one skipping low i would say but otherwise this pitch was good and then uh, they lost uh, tisra pereira cheaply for six and uh, de silva chatranga de silva was run out for two but uh, angelo matthews as you know he has been a such a consistent player uh, in this particular I men angelo matthews for angelo matthews i think not only is the captain of sri lanka leading from the front but he's also a very very good batsman coming down the order and angelo matthews proved that today uh, by slamming 55 runs of unbeaten 55 50 balls of five fours and one six which he does with um, extreme consistency uh and nowadays i would say and especially if you consider that um what were the matches he has played before one has seen that angelo matthews has become pretty consistent nowadays and that's what he did dinesh chandra was not out on 19 of as many balls with two fours and sri lanka uh, finishing on a very good score uh, in fact of, of with 296 for six i thought that sri lanka pakistan did well uh, to really really uh, you know get the innings back on track because what they did is they restricted sri lanka to 296 because when shankara and um the tirumani were at the crease the score was 189 uh, when uh, when sangakra departed so uh, considering that i thought uh, sri lanka um, pakistan bowlers did a good job in restricting sri lanka to 296 for 6 of their 50 overs as far as the bowling was concerned mohammad afiz 9 overs for 54 umar gul well it is a real for me uh, it, it was something surprising because uh, umar gul who bowled only 8 overs i mean if you look at the bowling analysis he was the most economical bowler uh on in, from pakistan and uh, what was the reason that amar umar akmal uh, sorry umar gul uh, was not given his full quota eight overs no made and two for 38 the most economical bowler today junaid khan nine overs uh, was crashed for 61 runs by the seven con batsman bilawal bhutti bowled four overs for 27 the spinners also going for runs uh, 10 overs for 50 runs for sayed ajmal with a wicket to show and shahid afridi bowled 10 overs two, uh, two for 56 as far as the pakistan uh, innings were concerned well they didn't start off on the right note at uh, shahjil khan uh, really attacked the bowling uh, to a good degree but then lakmal had his man as he had him caught uh, by uh, matthews for 26 so that was the first wicket to go uh, after that uh, shahjil khan was after that the other opener ahmed shahzad uh, was uh, done in by an arm delivery from the uh, debutant uh, left arm spin bowler chatranga de silva as ahmed shahzad was deceived there and he was clean bowled for 28 of 37 balls with four fours uh, mohammad afiz who had a excellent run Uh, against um, sri lanka uh, in the previous series uh, definitely disappointed uh, become uh, was lbw bowled angelo matthews for 18 of 19 balls with two fours and then uh, suddenly uh, the, the sri lanka were coming back into the game after taking mohammad afiz wicket at 83 for 3 and then there was a, 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 a there was a real a little partnership which was going on between miss baul haq and sohib maksud and sohib maksud definitely definitely guilty of trying to send a long hop Uh, into the fence uh, perished as he could not really clear it and chatranga de silva came up with a catch of the bowling of the right arm offy uh, sen anayake so he was he was gone for 17 of 27 balls with 1 4 and that was the time uh, like uh, sri lanka pakistan were really really losing it over here with the score on 121 for 4 but the talented umar akmal joined and let me talk about umar akmal uh, today as far as umar akmal's batting was concerned 
from 121 for 4, uh, Ms. Baal Haq was there at the crease along with Umar Akmal and once Umar Akmal came in, uh, there was a definitely a sense of urgency as far as uh, Pakistan batting was concerned. From 121 for 4 when Soyeb Maksud departed in the 24th over, the score uh, started um, galloping I would say. They put another 121 runs uh, in a matter of uh, probably uh, less than uh, 20 overs with Umar Akmal uh, really, really looking in great form. As you know, Umar Akmal is a, such a talented uh, a bloke, a talented player from Pakistan, but unfortunately uh, his uh, talent has not been uh, you, uh, you know, realized to the full potential. But today he showed us why with some splendid strokes, some majestic batting from Umar Akmal. Uh, the way he played his strokes, uh, that was a real sight to watch. But what was very important about Umar Akmal's knock, and we all know that he can play strokes, but uh, the ball was uh, met with a very, very straight bat. That was very important. Uh, the way he was hitting the ball over mid-wicket uh, and the way he was actually lofting the delivery, the way he was actually meeting the ball with a very straight bat, and that was very, very important. And Umar Rakmal was really, really uh, slamming all the ballers. In fact, the spinners were disappearing for fours and sixes. Uh, he was also dealing with Suranga Lakmal in a very severe manner. And uh, things went on and uh, Pakistan were looking pretty, pretty strong uh, at that stage. And one, looked, one probably felt uh, with the score on 242 for 5, uh, Umar Akmal uh, there at the crease with Musbah ul Haq also nerdling the singles and also hitting the, uh, I mean, coming up with the old slog, uh, you know, odd slog for a, a 4 or a 6. And things were going on pretty well and it looked like Pakistan were really uh, having the innings under control and it was only a matter of uh, just going through the paces. But suddenly, um, it was uh, suddenly the, the, the match of just going Pakistan's way uh, totally sprung into life when Suranga Lakmal came in and first picked up the wicket of Umar Akmal. As Umar Akmal was caught by Sankar Graf, the bowling of Lakmal for 74. So the score became 242 for 5 when Umar Akmal departed. After that, try the free, disappointed. Uh, he was um, out caught by Chandimal. Uh, and this was the time after once uh, uh, Umar Akmal fell, uh, there were two quick wickets that fell, which really changed the complexion of the game totally. Because uh, what happened, even though whatever uh, whatever uh, you know hopes Pakistan would have nurtured of a win was all thrashed when they lost uh, when the champion bowler uh, Lasid Malinga came on. Lasid Malinga had not taken any wicket before, but he came on here uh, first picked up the wicket of uh, uh, Shahid Afridi who lofted the ball, he was gone, caught by Chandi Malo, the morning, Malinga for four, uh, and after that, Ms. Baal Haq, the captain, uh, was uh, claimed as Ms. Baal Haq tried to hit a ball from uh, from Malinga, once again got the ball, and there was there were two two wickets uh, in a single over, with the fourth and sixth deliveries, Lasit Malinga struck by dismissing Ms. Baal Haq for 73, of 84 balls with four fours and two sixes, and then, uh, and also, uh, um, Umar, as, as I said, uh, Shai the Fridi was sent packing to the pavilion. After that, it was um, so suddenly the uh, like now now as I said, the, it was a real seesaw battle, and now it looked like now it was going Sri Lanka's way because the score was 254 for seven when Ms. Baal had departed in the 45th over. Uh, Umar Gul came in and uh, joined uh, Bilal Al Bati. Bilal Al Bati played some bold strokes. He hit some uh, two good bold boundaries. Uh, Umar Gul stayed there, but then uh, Malinga once again. After that, it was nothing else. But Pakistan could only look at one thing, and that was Lasit Malinga. As Lasit Malinga came in and bowled to Umar Gul, and Umar Gul uh, skied the delivery, trying to uh, you know hook the ball or probably pull the delivery, got a top edge. Uh, De Silva taking the catch. He was gone for two, and Pakistan were 262 for eight. And uh, and then Sai Dajmal joined uh, Bilawal Bhatti. Uh, that was the time when suddenly in a, in a Suranga Lakmal over, Sai Dajmal once again started uh, giving the hope for Pakistan to have a win. As Sai Dajmal slammed three boundaries in that over of uh, Suranga Lakmal, which went for 17 runs, three fours in that, and all the fours were, in fact, two fours were hit by Sai Dajmal. Uh, but then uh, after so and then two overs and 12 runs needed for Pakistan uh, as Malinga uh, came in uh, and had a beautiful river swinging uh, delivery coming in. Saeed Ajmal uh, was gone as his stumps were disturbed. He was gone. LBW bowled Malinga for 10 and then the the knockout punch was delivered by Malinga as uh, Malinga uh, what he did is he got the wicket of uh, uh, I, I thought it was, yes, it was Bilawal Bhatti was still there, so Bilawal Bhatti is a person who definitely has the striking power, but uh, you know, Lasit Malinga is such a champion bowler, he came in and uh, he saw to it that Sri Lanka won the game uh, by getting Bilawal Bhatti's stumps shattered for 18 of 13 balls with two fours, 
and that was the a knockout punch delivered by Malinga and Malinga as I said was the man of the match Pakistan were all out for 284 thus losing the match the first match of the Asia Cup to Sri Lanka by 12 runs and uh, Lasith Malinga um, the man of the match uh, 9.5 overs no maiden 5 wickets for 52 runs he came into his own uh, in that last spell and completely uh, I would say um, had uh, the, the, Sri Lanka, the Pakistani batsman in a real tizzy 9.5 overs no maiden 52 runs and 5 wickets and that is what uh, this champion bowler can really really bring about Lakmal 9 overs 1 maiden 2 for 65 was costly Sen and IK 1 for 47 Chaturanga Silva on his debut 10 overs 1 maiden 1 for 56 I thought still he bowled well Pereira 6 overs cost him 36 runs and Angel Matthews bowling 5 overs 1 maiden none for 25 this is Malinga first name out of the match well dear fans and subscribers I don't have much anything else to say but I can tell you one more thing that tomorrow uh, India will be taking on host Bangladesh in the second match of the Asia Cup so keep your eyes uh, keep your uh, keep tuned in for the cricket happening show where I'll be uh, coming up with my cricket report on the match between Bangladesh and India tomorrow until then it's goodbye from your host Ron thank you